Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and beside me here, we've got an ANET ET4X. Friends, ANET has given us Marlin 2.0 that we can pop on this little critter. It's time to do it, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, before we do anything, let's make sure you understand what printer we're working with. If we hit info, we are trying to update the ET4X. It'll have all the blue, not the red. Make sure you never try and do firmware for a different model on the model you're supposed to be updating. Just another quick peek at all the ET4X blue that comes with this printer. Friends, now that we've got our printer figured out, let's actually get the stuff that we're going to have to use to do the updating. So this link will be in the description. It is how you get to the ANET firmware page. To download it, you do need to sign in. I simply sign in with Google. Once that is complete, you can see the file right here, and we're going to simply download it by clicking on this arrow right here and then choosing the download button. I have downloaded this several times. I'm just going to save it with a different name. We need to use a special tool to update this firmware. This is by Carl Johnson. He's got a website that showed us how to fix the ET4 if you had a bad flash. It also is how we update this with what's called the ST-Link version 2. Here's a link you can buy it for. It's only $6.29 on Amazon. And then we need this utility, which we can get right here. When you hit this, you simply download it, save it to your downloads folder. I've done it more than once, but I'll save it again. And now I'll show you how to put these all in the right place so that we can use them. So if you're using Windows, I'm going to hit the little arrow here and do show in folder. I'm going to right click on the ET4.1 and I'm going to simply hit extract all. And I'm even going to delete that ET4, and I'm going to just tell it to extract all to the main folder. And let's watch what it does. See how it still gave us an ET4 folder? I was pretty sure that's what was going to happen. I'm going to rename it as ET4X, because I want to keep track that this is my ET4X uh, update. And then I'm going to unzip the firmware. When we do extract all on this, I'm going to delete its big name as well and just tell it extract. Once again, it makes the folder for me. Just so you know, this dash breaks the ST-Link software. We're gonna fix that by grabbing the file we need. This is that ET4X bin, and we're gonna cut it. And then we're gonna go back to downloads. We're gonna go back to our ET4X folder, and we're gonna right click and paste that in. We do not need these ET4 files. I'm going to press delete to get rid of those because they would not have worked. They would have broke our ET4X. And then we need the software. To get the software, I'm going to do the extract all. I'm not going to put it in a special folder. And I'm going to just tell it extract. And this will give us the file that we can then install so we actually have this on our computer. And let's do the install process. Tell it yes. Let it run through all the little things it needs to do give it a next, a yes, let it have its default location. Next on the drivers, finish and finish. All right, friends, so this is one of my favorite machines. I got it as a crazy bargain, and of all the crazy things, the SD card was ripped out of it, so I did not think I was ever going to be able to update it. But then I learned how to use this sweet little ST-Link V2. On the right-hand side, we are using the SW clock, the SWDIO, and the ground. I put those wires in the order black, brown, and white. And then inside the ET4X, you need to find these pins. See that G? That is where the ground is going to go, which is the black one. Then we're going to put the white one, and then we're going to put the brown one. All right, friends, so double check your labels. Make sure yours show up the same as mine. And then make sure you plug in those wires the same way. And now we can move on to getting ready for the flashing. All right, friends, so with it loaded, we need to launch the STM. It shows up on my desktop. If you don't see it there, you can also just type ST space link, and it'll give you the link to the app. With that file, or with that on the screen, let's connect our device. So, all right, so make sure you've got your device all plugged in. Make sure you've got your ET4X turned on. And then I'm going to connect mine with a USB extension cable. You can hear it actually connect to the computer. And then over here on the ST link, I'm going to click the connect to target and it populates with the firmware that's already on the machine. 
I'm going to take that firmware and I'm going to do file and I'm going to save it. I don't want to lose that firmware. I'm going to go back to the downloads folder and remember we made that ET4X folder. I'm going to call this original. Helps if you can spell original ET4X. And then I'm going to simply save it and wait for that to complete. It only takes a moment, but you can see right there it read the old firmware and it stored it, so if you ever need it, you can get back to it. With that one saved, now we need to grab our new one. If we hit the binary file, we can navigate. Remember ours was in the ET4X, and we want this new ET4X bin that was supplied by ANET. Once you've got that file loaded, you simply click Target, and you click Program. It'll say, do you want to double check? And we say, Start. and then you let it do its thing, and boom, your ET4X will have Marlin 2.0 on it that fast. And there you have it, friends, the ET4X almost instantly updated to Marlin 2.0. All right, friends, so there you have it, Marlin 2.0 on the ET4X. A few things to remember, make sure you're always flashing the correct firmware to the correct printer, otherwise you're asking for troubles. Also, there is the open source that you can go to and you can modify your own. Just make sure, of course, you're really careful about what you're changing in that firmware because that can also cause trouble with your printer. Friends, I've got a lot of videos about how the menus look there for the ET4, but the menus, I think, are going to be exactly the same. So I'll just make sure that you can find the playlist and also throw a couple links to those as well. And last but not least, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.